Well, as we continue to navigate this pandemic, the show must go on, right, for Milwaukee Film. Of course, and this year's Milwaukee Film Festival kicking off tomorrow, albeit virtually, but they are making nearly 200 films from across the globe available to you right on your couch. So we have marketing director for Milwaukee Film, Karina Henderson. She joins us now, and thanks for being here, Karina. Give us an idea, since we're not using movie theaters, how do fans gain access this year? Lots of different ways, Charles. There are ways for you to watch on your TV, on your laptop, your tablet, your mobile phone. We have custom TV apps, lots of ways for people to tune in, like you said, from your couch or the comfiest chair in your house. And there's so many genres of films that the Milwaukee Film Festival likes to highlight. But talk about some of the highlights from uh, this year's film festival that may hit on a number of different topics that we just may not even know about. Yeah, we've got intense documentaries, uplifting films, you know, the movies like Made in Bangladesh that is just featured here, described as kind of a, a Norma Ray type of film. Um, we've got a film called Dark City Beneath the Beat, which was also just featured in what you were seeing. It's a story about Baltimore uh, through music mm. and get up off your couch and dance kind of film. But then we've got stuff that I think everyone's going to enjoy. Um, a documentary about Doc Severinsen, who everybody knows locally, um, and my grandma used to watch religiously on the Carson show. <laughs> Doc is going to actually join us on October 25th for a Q&A, and we're really excited about that. But it just, it runs the gamut. There's really something for everybody to enjoy. Yeah, and I, sh I know Shannon tries to take a lot of opportunities to see a lot of these films. Karina, give us an idea about the perks that go along with being a member of Milwaukee Film. Well, if you're a member, you can get a pass to all of these almost 200 films for $75, which is about the best deal in town. Um, and you get perks all year round. The biggest perk, I think, is that you are supporting a nonprofit, the nonprofit Milwaukee Film, through a tough year and helping us continue to put on great programs like this. Karina, I think the other big perk is like it's our local Netflix because we can see all these films anytime we want. Sometimes, you know, when it's in the theater, we miss it because it's at three o'clock. I got to be here. But people have the opportunity to get to see all of these films right in their homes. Yeah, the silver lining of this is absolutely that the films are more accessible this year than ever. And you don't have to schlep on down to a theater. You don't have to find parking. You know, you can, again, pick the most comfortable seat in your house and watch them anytime you want. You make the schedule and oh. it's something, it's a really different experience than our normal film festival, but it means that a lot more people are gonna be able to tune in. Karina Henderson, thank you so much from Milwaukee Film. And of course, to get more information about the Milwaukee Film Festival, go to our website, tmj4.com and head to the link section.